Ooh. Hello tea people, how are we doing? It's Oli the Tea Guru here and I'm very excited to do this particular video. It's been a long time coming. This is the uh, 2012 Iwu Gushu from Iwu Mountain Tea. So as you may or may not know, um, Philip Lee of uh, Iwu Mountain Tea, part of a tea family uh, from Gao Shan, uh, in Iwu with a, a very long history. They've got their own gardens, of course, their own tea gardens, but um, as well as growing, um, harvesting, and producing their own tea cakes, of course, they've got a, a wealth of, um, uh, of local knowledge and um, part of a vast network um, of, um, of tea farmers. So to create the 2012 uh, Gushu, um, they brought together five interesting uh, gushus of Iwu region for 2012 and pressed it. It's uh, spring production. It's uh, spring production, all spring material. And I haven't tried this cake for about, about a year. To be quite honest, so many teas and so little time, hey? Now, Philip um, likes to brew his tea uh, pretty strong. So he's got a fairly large guy one and um, he uses 10 gram of leaf. Um, slightly smaller um, teapot here, about 200, 200 mil, I'd say. Um, I'm going to use seven grams today. And um, a little tip, a little tip for people who are um, maybe trying to feel chi or maybe just to get more flavour and more expression out of the tea, um, it's tempting to use a little bit of leaf, um, but you know. Try and use a little bit more, try and use a, a more heavier uh, leaf to water ratio um, to really help um, the tea express itself, uh, to try and get more chi out of the tea or just more flavour. And this Gushu, it will, if I remember, um, it steeps for ages. I mean, you know, we had this in his shop in uh, Guangzhou and we did over 20 infusions, just more and more and more. There was four of us and we got through it within about an hour or something, but yeah, it's uh, it goes the mile. Let's check out this leaf quickly. Yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting, folks. So this is a 2012, a little bit dusty there. Um, 2012, you see how browned off this cake is? So seven grams into the teapot. It's quite a pungent tea, um, not super pungent, um, but pungent. From the dry leaves. The good thing about Philip at Ewu Mountain Tea is the way he stores his cakes. It's got some obvious um, aged notes coming from the uh, the aroma. Um, but not overly so. It's not natural storage, so he uses, um, he has a lot of um, uh, air con uh, in his shop, and that's where his teas are kept. It's not on all the time, but um, you can really notice the difference between something like this and something that is naturally stored in, in Guangzhou, um, where they haven't got any AC, the door's open the whole time, and it's just getting all of that moisture and heat um, from, from its surroundings. So you've got some Guangdong. Uh, storage notes coming through, storage aromas, touch of apricot as well, stone fruit. That first infusion is coming in a very dark yellow. I'm just gonna grab a share cup, this just ain't working. My, <laughs> my cup's too small. Infusion two, cheers. Slight bitterness start to sort of kick in somewhat. Still very smooth, just gliding down. Still not, still not letting go. It's still, it's still um, holding on. It's, it's, it's not letting everything loose quite yet. 
Right, it's getting a bit stronger. The sort of bitterness coating my cheeks a little bit. But nice and smooth. Fusion 3, cheers. All right, the tea's starting to open up a bit, it's starting to uh, enliven itself. I can taste a little bit, there's, a, there's an aftertaste still lingering from um, uh, Infusion 2, which I've just started to notice and I, I can't really place um, what to call it, but it's there <laughs> and it's pleasant. Um, bit um, Sweetness is starting to sort of um, cling to my, uh, my bottom of, the, of my palate. Bitterness is, um, is increasing. Still very smooth, still very viscous. Energy levels are increasing. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit of chi. Uh, but I am um, I'm doing this um, fairly high for the, for the amount of water I'm using. I'm probably using 100 ml water or less, uh, seven grams. Taste-wise, it's, it's pushing, it's pushing up. Mainly right now, I'm getting the, the, the tiniest whisper of sweetness. Um, the bitterness is, it is starting to um, get a hold of my palate. And that aftertaste is just increasing, as well as the cheek. So everything's just building and building and building. What do we now, Fusion 4? Let's go. Minerality starting to push a bit now but that chi is just building and building. Infusion five now, um, and I can't even describe uh, the flavor of this tea. It's, it's seriously taken up to sort of Infusion 5 to work out what's going on because it through the infusion it's happening so slowly and you're wondering whether it's your imagination creating the um, uh, the extra little things that are, are going on but it's, it's, it's just that the, the tea is taking its sweet time to sort of uh, put out um, um, what it is and the sweetness is just sort of enveloping now the sweetness is, is um, one way to describe it, just surrounding um, the whole flavour. Um, the frontal flavour um, isn't huge. It's more kind of an overall... Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like the... It's like the whisper of, of Guangdong storage and a lot of people are scared off by Guangdong storage. You shouldn't be. Uh, because Guangdong storage is a length and breadth of anywhere between uh, Kunming style storage, if it's stored in, um, in, in regulated warehouses, to natural uh, storage, and anywhere in between. <clears throat> so, if I was to say, I would say that the Guangdong storage in, in this particular tea rounds things off nicely to create more depth. You can, if you concentrate, you can see, you can, you can taste that Guangdong storage in the background. Um, there is no obvious frontal flavour. I just can't, <laughs> can't describe um, what the flavour is like, but it's, it's kind of a deepness. It's, it, you know, th th this tea's on the turn, so it's, it's uh, six years old now going on seven, um, it's, it's becoming kind of a one-dimensional flavour altogether in itself. I know I'm not making sense, but I'm just finding it very, I'm struggling very hard to describe the flavour on this. Um, what is extremely apparent um, in this tea is the feeling. Um, it, after about Infusion 3, the energetic, Chi kicked in, 
not all encompassing, not aggressive, just there, and you know it's there. Um, hitting Infusion 5 now, and it's turning into a meditative sort of feeling. Um, for me, and this is completely um, an opinion, um, a lot of people don't don't get the chi thing, and uh, you know I completely understand. Um, but the feeling of, of of this tea is is very strong. There is an after taste as well. It's kind of like sweet sweet vegetable, but it's just its own thing. Um, there's nothing in the world that I can describe what it is. And the tea remains very viscous, lovely and smooth. It's a solid tea. Ah. Fusion 7. Yeah. You could say that this tea is is somewhere in between, you know, you, you get a fresh Sheng tea and in all its um, beautiful glory, in all its, um, its bright vegetal fruity note glory, um, it is its own thing. And then you've got something that's 10, 15 years old uh, and it's completely different uh, for other um, beautiful reasons. And then you've got a tea that's sitting at six years old, in between, um, not quite sure where it is right now, moving away from the, um, the fresh Sheng um, personality into something more mature, uh, more wise, um, and potentially more interesting. And, and this is where I find this tea right now. It's like, <clears throat> the, the fresh Sheng is gone. Um, this hasn't yet developed its um, it, it's, it's deep, uh, mature and um, interesting characteristics yet. But you can see it's on that way. How will this tea taste in five, ten years time? <laughs> Press the fast forward button. <laughs> wow, so this is Infusion 7, the sweetness is popping. Sweetness popping, maybe a little bit vegetative coming through. This tea is just gonna keep changing all the way through. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit blasted because I've done quite high um, leaf water ratio. I'm swinging them back. I haven't had any breakfast. <laughs> It's hitting me. Fusion 9. I think at this point it's a bit silly to be doing um, every single infusion because, you know, um, the, the changes are, are kind of minute. Um, you have to sort of, <clears throat> you know, see the whole breadth of it really. Clean and clear. That's nice. The colour's changing a little bit, where it was a kind of a turning yellow to start with, it's going a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Mm. Sweetness getting more and more to the front now. This tea's still going. And no doubt we'll carry on for another 10 infusions. Um, I'm Ollie from theteaguru.co.uk and this has been the 2012 Iwu Mountain Tea Gushi. You can pick this up in store, um, a full cake, 380 grams, going for 138.50. Um, you can buy 20 grams and anywhere in between. Um, the price of this tea will be going up at some point. Um, I think really for um, Gushi material, six years old, uh, for 380 grams, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a good buy. It's a good buy. So um, thank you very much for uh, stopping by, watching the vid, and uh, please subscribe and share for more tea videos. I'm Ollie from Tea Guru. Happy cupping. GreenTeaGuru.co.uk offers green tea, white tea, black tea, oolong tea, and we absolutely love pu'er tea with offerings of Misty Peaks, Yunnan Sourcing, Mung Hai, and Sha Guan. We regularly visit Hong Kong and Guangdong, sourcing out very interesting and special cakes for your tea table. Green Tea Guru, based in UK with worldwide delivery. Mm -hmm.